Hey guys, it's Pete coming at you again with another episode of North Florida Smoke. Uh, so it's a weeknight. My kids are watching some, uh, I don't know, what are they watching? Sonic. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and get a chicken started. So this is an easy uh, weeknight meal. It takes probably about an hour and a half or so to get cooked. And I'm going to go ahead and spatchcock this chicken. And that means I'm going to remove the backbone. And uh, we're going to spl spread it right out onto a... Uh, uh, cookie sheet. We'll get it all seasoned up and then we'll go ahead and get it on to our smoker. So thanks for stopping by. Please make sure to like, rate, and subscribe. Also make sure you're following us on Instagram. That's at uh, North Florida Smoke. So please make sure to check us out on there for some more content as well. Hey guys, we're going to spatchcock this chicken. Now what that means, uh, other than being a funny word, is we're going to remove the backbone and we're going to use a pair of kitchen shears for that. So here we are with our chicken and uh, this has been, uh, took all the, the gizzards out and rinsed it down. And now I've got it sitting here on our cutting board. So what we're going to do is use a pair of kitchen shears. We're gonna go ahead and turn that over so we've got the backbone facing us. And you can actually see it um, right on the, the line here. I'll turn this for you. There's actually kind of a line that goes straight down that you can usually see. And that's the guide that I'm gonna be using here to take this backbone out. So I'm gonna start on one side. I'm gonna kind of pick up this little tail here and I'm gonna start just cutting into and up the backbone. And I'm gonna remove this completely and I'm gonna do it from both sides. So as soon as I cut all the way through, I'm gonna to go to the other side. And I'll try to just do this as cleanly as I can. But the whole goal here is to remove that backbone. So once this is out, we've got our chicken here. And the only other thing that we're gonna do is take our chef's knife and this breastbone, we're just gonna cut it. So we're gonna cut down into that breastbone, put this chicken over, we're gonna put the breast down onto the table and then we're just gonna push it down with our hand there and that's gonna finish up, um, you know, kind of uh, pushing down that breastbone. So this is about a five and a half pound chicken. So not too huge here and that's good cause you don't want something that's been chock full of hormones and everything else. Uh, but what we're gonna do, now that this is spatchcocked, as you'll say, um, we're gonna go ahead and get it seasoned up. Take a piece of paper towel, and I'm just gonna kinda dry this off. And I'm gonna hope that my kids aren't killing each other in the other room here. We're gonna go ahead and get it rubbed. So before we do that, I'm just gonna take a little bit of vegetable oil and put that on the outside here. And I'm just gonna rub down the whole thing with that vegetable oil. That's gonna help our spices adhere, and it's also gonna help crisp up that skin a little bit. I'm gonna be seasoning this up today with some uh, Meat Church Holy Voodoo. I know I've been doing a lot of Meat Church lately, but I do get a lot of use out of these rubs. And Holy Voodoo is the absolute best uh, thing that I've found to put on basically anything poultry. So I've done it on turkey, uh, chicken, chicken wings, it's absolutely phenomenal, drums, uh, thighs, you name it, you know, we've cooked it. I'm gonna start seasoning on the underside of my chicken. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I want a nice color and presentation on top. And if I season the top first and then flip it over, it's gonna kind of cake up all that rub that I'm putting on the top. And I'll bring the boys in to help me season the top. Uh, these are my barbecue assistants. We've got that seasoned up there. This is gonna sit going to allow that rub to sink into the meat. I'm going to take it, flip it over, and then we'll go ahead and get the other side rubbed up. Really yummy. All right, I got my boys here. Jack, say hi. Cameron, say hi. Hi. This is the dream team, Campbell and Sons yeah. Barbecue, and uh, they're going to help me out getting this chicken seasoned up. Cameron knows how to do this all too well. He helps me out all the time. Make sure, buddy, we're spreading it out, okay? Good job. It gets a little messy when you got toddlers helping you out, but they like to help, so I like to let them. Good job, Jack. Good job, guys. And we'll try to keep them from touching it the best we can. Jack uh, gets a little more curious than Cameron. But we want to get a nice coverage here. Here you go, Jack, wipe your hands off inside the wing and everywhere. And then we're just gonna kind of let this chill. So 
Um, it's, I'm gonna get the grill heated up for our cook today. So I'll meet you out on the patio. We're making chicken. Okay guys, we are out here with our Rectech 700 and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing flipped on. And today's cook, we're gonna do it about uh, 375 degrees. And that's not gonna be too hot, uh, but it is gonna allow me to get a good crisp on the skin of my chicken. Uh, a lot of people that do barbecue, they try and try and try uh, to get that nice bite with a low and slow, and it's just very difficult to do. Got our grill heating up here. A little uh, time lapse for you. You can see the boys falling down there. <laughs> and this thing is smoking. Are you ready to cook chicken? So when you cook with toddlers, uh, things get pretty messy. Yeah. And my buddy Jack here and Cameron uh, put a little extra seasoning on, so I was able to knock some of that off. Uh, but this is looking great. One of the best things about a Rectech or any Wi-Fi connected pellet grill is that they start themselves. Uh, you can start it right from your iPhone and it lets you know when it's close to temp. So uh, it, it is true, kind of set it and forget it. You really don't have to mess with it from the time you turn it on until it's ready to start cooking. I'm ready to go ahead and get this chicken on the grill. And I just noticed that my toddler ripped his diaper off, so we'll deal with that in a minute. But uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get this thing on. We're gonna put the probe in the thickest part of the breast. Get it right in there. Plug that in. And then we're gonna pull her off at 165. So here's our chicken. It's got a nice color to it. The bull is roaring away. It is a beautiful evening here in North Florida. Got our uh, chicken rolling on here. Let's take another quick peek at our chicken. That is looking excellent. So it's saying we're at a little over 160 right now. So I'm gonna check it out with our Thermapen MK4. And this is just uh, gonna give us a little bit more accurate of a reading. This is saying 134 in the breast here. Uh, let me check it out on this side. Yeah, we're getting 162 over here. And about 150 on that side. So I'm gonna let this keep rolling for a few. So I'm not loving how the uh, the chicken's stepping right now. The way the probe that. I'm gonna take my glove and move it over to this side. We're gonna check that and see where that's at. And uh, yeah, the temperature's coming down a little bit like I thought and it's probably gonna drop below the 160 mark. Here it goes. So that means we have undercooked chicken, so we're gonna keep this thing rolling. So my hypothesis was correct. Uh, okay, it's reading 165 there. I'm happy with how it looks, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this pulled off. I'm gonna use a spatula to get underneath this uh, and try not to mess up the top. And I can drop it right down there. And there's our beautiful bird. Here's our chicken. Looking excellent. That holy voodoo. Got us a nice crust on the outside. This bird here is looking and smelling great. We're gonna go ahead and get it carved up. So what I'm gonna do is remove everything uh, but the breast. Now I'm gonna cut the breast off before I slice it. And I'll get this one cut up here. So here's our chicken. Give you a little look there. Nice and juicy, nice and moist. It's for you, Aaron. Check it out. I'm gonna move some of this over here, make a little room, and then I can cut the other breast off. So I'm gonna cut right down the center there. Try to get off as much as I can. on this one and we are ready to eat give you a little look at the chicken here 
The breast didn't get as crispy on the skin as I was looking for there because I was probing around on it. But the thighs are looking really good. And so are the wings. So excited to dig in here. Got some nice juicy chicken. And we're going to enjoy. Thanks everybody for joining us on another episode of North Florida Smoke. Please make sure to like, rate, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.